Hello and welcome to this 4th of July episode. I actually wanted to post something different, but this morning I took a walk and I was just reflecting on the days that are coming up and my trip that is planned starting on the 4th of July. And then I thought to myself, wow, it's Independence Day. What does it really mean? And here I am wanting to share my thoughts with you. Here in the United States, we celebrate July 4th as our Independence Day. That was the day Americans cleared their independence from Britain. And ever since, that day has been celebrated. Now, most people at this time, they see it as a day off because it is a national holiday and getting together with friends and and grilling burgers and having a good time. What does independence mean to you? I ask myself that question this morning. For me, independence means a few different things, actually. Number one, I don't want to be dependent on anybody in my life, not even the government, family, or anything, just reliant to myself. I'm obviously talking from my perspective living here in the Western world, but I realized that nobody is truly independent. We are more likely interdependent. So today, in today's episode, I would like to discuss the difference between dependence and interdependence, what it means to us and to the world around us. So here is what I did. I did a little research and first of all, looked up in the dictionary what independence means. So here I'm going to read this to you. Independence is the state of being free of the control of some other person, country, or entity. And what is the difference between Dependence and interdependence. Once again, independence means the quality or state of being independent, freedom from outside control or support. Now let's take a look at interdependence. Number one, the state of being dependent upon one another. Mutual dependence. Interdependence of two nations' economies, a form of symbiosis, a close mutual interdependence of two species or organisms. So let's put it all into perspective and see how it applies to our own lives. Unless you are living on a deserted island that you are not depending on anybody, any government or any person. You're just there for yourself. You're still interdependent with your environment because you depend on the earth to feed you, to shelter you, to protect you. You see, there is a very close relationship between those two things. Now, if we are honest, we are not living on a deserted island. We are living in a world that's being developed with millions of people in it. So there is really no such thing as independence. I have been an entrepreneur my whole life. After I worked for a company, for a corporation, for a couple of years, I knew I could not do this for 40 years. That led me to become an actress. And as actress, I can audition where I want to audition and I can pick and choose the roles that I wanted to play because I can always say, no, I'm not playing this role right? And I get paid 
for my delivery. And then later on, I started my own business, a performing arts school. I was in charge of that. But there was still an interdependence because, of course, I needed students that I'm able to teach. And for that, there was an exchange. The student gave me money, which is a monetary way of exchanging services. And I gave money to the landlord that provided the space in which I taught. That's an exchange of service. So money is good because we it makes it much easier to exchange service. So I have that feeling of being free. And even as we speak, I have my own schedule. I am working with clients who, are, who want to work with me. And again, there's an exchange. I, gave my, I give my service and the clients give me the monetary equivalent. In some cases, you can even exchange services. And money doesn't even have to exchange hands. Somebody perhaps is doing the marketing for you and you do something for them in return. This is what I call freedom. I am independent, but at the same time interdependent because we are interacting with other people. So if this is something that you feel or you feel, you know, I really want to be independent. I don't want to work for this boss any longer who tells me how many days a year I can go on vacation or I have off or I can attend to my family's matter, then I invite you to look into starting your own business. If you play with the thought of starting your own business, but are not 100% sure how it works, then I invite you to schedule a time with me. Schedule a free discovery session to help you figure out in which direction you need to go. Just go to talktosabine.com and schedule your call. I will leave the link in the show notes and I hope you take advantage of it because it's truly my passion to help others get started because I know how good it feels when you feel that independence. You feel, you feel that you can make a difference in this world. And that, in and of itself, is a feeling of freedom. So, my friend, I encourage you to start and give me a call or just go to my website, sabinekavenberg.com and learn more about what I do. So, let's get back to our topic. Now, let's take a look what independence really means to you. What it means to me is the freedom to choose. At the end, we understand that we have to follow rules and it depends on in which country you live in, rules are different. I live in the Western world. Currently, I live in the United States in which we today celebrate the 4th of July, Independence Day. But with that said, I need to follow the rules. In some cases, I am dependent on certain things that are provided to me here in this country. But the independence I am talking about is the freedom of choice. Now, even if I choose something, that, for example, if you are in a country that you can have free elections, I hope you are, you can choose between some parties. And it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever you want in life or what you want to see in your country, that this comes to fruition just because 
you have the freedom to choose and vote for a party or a person. But at least you have that choice. For me, it also means freedom of choice. I can live where I want to live. Freedom of choice means I have the means, in this case, the monetary equivalent, to buy what I want to buy, to go where I want to go. And for many people, it's very limited because they work for someone else, for example. And if they work for a company, again, it depends on your position, obviously. But I'm talking about the majority of people. And for the majority of people, they are dependent on their employer to say, okay, you have to work these hours. This is the amount of money that you get. These are the amount of days that you can take your vacation or leave of absence or whatever. So you're really dependent on that. And you feel that limit and you feel the restraints of your freedom. Even though we as human beings have the choice to say yes to this working position or no, we sometimes don't feel that we have that. We feel, I have to stay in this job because otherwise, if I would leave, what happens? Of course, fear steps in and this is very normal. However, you still can say, hey, I'm in this job right now, but I choose to look for something else. Now, for me, that freedom is working for myself. And I can take my business wherever I want to go. I love to travel. So one of the things is I can take my little laptop, <laughs> put it in my pocket, have a great microphone like this one, and I can go wherever I want to go and still can do my podcast and still can do my coaching online. That for me is freedom. And that for me is independence. What does independence mean to you? I would love for you to put it in the comment because we can learn from each other. And if you feel you are ready to, to be more independent and perhaps thinking about starting your business but don't know yet how to start, then I invite you to schedule a free call with me in which I can guide you through the steps that you need to do in order to start your business. Just go to talktosabine.com and schedule your time. Or go to my resource page, sabinekevenberg.com forward slash resources. And there you find a lot of information and you can always contact me through my website. So my friend, I hope this gave you some food for thought and maybe some aha moments even, because oftentimes we don't think about certain words or certain holidays that we celebrate. And in this case, here in the United States, we are celebrating the 4th of July, Independence Day. And if you enjoyed this episode today, I appreciate if you could give me thumbs up. And if you listen on any of your podcasts platforms, please give a five-star rating and leave a two or three sentence review. This would help a lot. And that means a lot. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. But until I see you again, always remember, serve from the heart, follow your passion and live the life you imagine. Thank you.